First time watching Doctor Who series 7 episode 12 I believe 12 <laughs> This one is called Crimson Peak No it's something The Crimson Horror By the way I've also seen Crimson Peak Pretty brilliant movie Anyways Before we get into this episode though I want to ask you a question How are you doing? It's been a long time hasn't it? I hope you've been doing great I really mean that uh, I'm doing good too, by the way. My name's Afan, if you're new to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Now then, without any further ado, let's just jump into the episode. Here we go. Yorkshire 1893. I was just about to say, this looks really old-timey, and then there it is. Edmund Tully. Let's get to the bottom of this dark and queer business, no matter what- Dark and queer business. Who leaked my <laughs> browser history? Mrs. Gillyflower. We have come about your husband, my dear. A tragedy. Gillyflower. Gilly from Game of Thrones. Husband. There must be some mistake. Yeah, because her husband is always on time. Some would say early, premature, but never late. Uh, I know I'm an idiot. We're so very sorry. Are you? Well, uh. that's put me right off me mash. <laughs> <laughs> mash? <laughs> Mashed potato? <laughs> that gilly girl, gilly flower. That's the Game of Thrones lady, isn't it? The the Tyrell lady, right? And it's funny her name is Gilly as well, because Gilly is a character in Game of Thrones as well. Ooh, licking lipsies, eh? Come to look at one of their precious stiffs. The stiff. Is my brother. So his brother was stiff when he died? Still? <laughs> oh, man. He and a young woman were working undercover. Tell me, madam. Madam Vastra. Belief that the eye can retain an image of the last thing it sees. Paternoster gang. gang. <laughs> Why are they called that? Because they live in the place or something? I forgot. <laughs> I'll be blowed. I'll be blowed. <laughs> Vastra is like, not now, later, yeah, but not now. It's the doco. She got blown by the doctor. <laughs> Accusations. Anyways. Fittest and the most beautiful. You may rely on me, ma'am. <laughs> I was, in fact, to Jenny. <laughs> Potato. You know the boy that's sitting right next to you? Fleshy boy is to represent us. I strongly advise the issue of... Oh, so predictable. Potato. <laughs> remember, we are going to the North. The North remembers. My own daughter, blinded in a drunken rage by my late husband. Why are all these husbands late? Show up on time. Come on, guys, you're letting us down. I know it means dead. I offer a way out. Sweet Phil! <sighs> Bring me my Bring Come on, sing along. We've got to blend in, Jenny. Jenny boy. <laughs> you wish to join us, my dear? If it's all the same with you, Mark. You'll do very nice. What will I do nicely, creepy woman? If our stratagem succeeds, Jenny will infiltrate deep into the black heart of this circus in the town. I didn't know I was here. Go through every locked door and run towards any form of danger that presents itself. Wow, I have two bottles of water here. Bottles of water, and one's warm, one's cold. And I was expecting the cold one, and I got a warm surprise, you know. Did you think I'd forgotten you, dear monster? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that her husband who's always late? You'd be so kind as to announce me, my good man. Whom shall I say is calling? <laughs> this guy always faints. It's a scientific impossibility. I wonder how Jenny is getting on. If she hasn't made contact by nightfall, I suggest a massive frontal assault on the factory, madam. <sighs> Casualties can be kept at perhaps as little as 80%. 80%? Subtler ways of proceeding, Strax. Come on, fam. 
Just reminded me of what's happening in the real world at the moment. If only Vastra was in charge of the real world, you know. Do you know anyone who's come to live here? I had a pal who come here three months back. I've not had a peep from her since. Hmm. Hang on. Cause a distraction. Done. <laughs> they fixed the match. Are there speakers? Quite fancy, you know. Them new manufacturers can do horrible things to a person. Horrible. The H is silent. H, not H, okay? I apologize to all the Brits watching. I was just taking the label off of my, my mug. <laughs> I'm such a dickhead. Oh, how I, I long? About 65 million. Nice. I trust you had a pleasant day, Mama. Tolerable. <laughs> Will Mr. Sweet ever join us for dinner, Mama? Mr. Sweet is rather tired tonight. He'll be joining us for dessert. He's called Mr. Sweet for a reason, you know. Whoa, she is a the devil. The devil likes salt, right? Sodium ting. I heard the devil has a sodium deficiency. <laughs> oh, that genuinely scared me. Fuck, that hurt my heart. And it really hurt. Bangs. You can bang away, just quiet. <laughs> you know, I know it's tough. It's got to come to an arrangement. Savvy? Savvy reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. All movies on the channel, by the way, if you want to see you. But you try anything funny, and I'll leave you here to rot. Is that understood? It's Mr. Sweet. Me and the doctor have the same expressions. Can't you speak? Uh, uh. Right, we're getting out of here. Uh. Well, people are going to see him, so that's going to be an issue. What? Well. So that's her dear monster. They're dipping them in the crimson horror and strawberry jam. Wow, kind of reminds me of the the Joker. He got dipped in acid, you know. I have monster. All will be well. Imperfect as we are, there will and... be room for us in the new Jerusalem. Hmm. Any left too? Shackles broken. He needs to see a chiropractor ASAP. I think it's chiropractor, right? The dude that like cracks you. <laughs> hey, he's back. Jenny, 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 Jenny. <laughs> Never turn up. Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Vastra's not gonna be too happy about that either. No one who ever goes to live there ever seems to come out. This is very similar to the movie Crimson Peak, you know? It's funny how I mentioned it simply because of the, the name. That was a wild movie. I highly suggest you watch it if you haven't seen it. Come with more chuff, come with love. Yeah. <laughs> Clara and her curly hair. The name? Sweetville? Yes. Why not name it after yourself? After all, it's your creation. Gilly Flower Town. Hey, <laughs> Gilly. It is named in tribute to my partner. Your late partner. No, my. A very on time partner. <laughs> Sometimes the preservation process goes wrong. You can stay here. It could be my secret. Hmm. My special monster. She's taller than him, or she's got heels, maybe. Ah. 
Who the hell is that? Poor Edmund must have come looking for us. Edmund Tully. Oh. Clara's dead, isn't she? It's complicated. Yeah. Very complicated. Complicado. What? Bear left for a quarter of a mile. You will have reached your destination. Wow. Look at that. His own personal GPS. What is your name? Thomas, sir. Thomas Thomas. Thomas Thomas. Well, Thomas Thomas. Tom Tom. Tom Tom. That's a GPS, right? I think so. I I've never owned one, but I think that that's a thing. I do. People even own on GPSs. That's like an old people thing. Anyways. The ice lady. Doctor. Complicado. Clara. She's not red though. Uh oh. Is the meaning of this? Oh, Mama, I have been foolish. Sentimental attachment. To whom? To who? Unlike the Wake up! Berserker! You have loosed a reject onto the outside world. Interfere with the great work. But please say there is still room. Vroom, vroom. Come on, accelerate. There can be no place for people such as you. Wow. Myself and Mr. Sweet. Damn. That is crazy. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Great attack of the super models. That was funny. That is a plan. Yep. I like how they're just waiting, you know? She's like Clara, the dead girl's back to life. What's going on? When you had love, there's trouble at now. <laughs> Still doing the accent. It infected our drinking water, and whilst in our systems, it secreted a fatal poison. Mrs. Gillaflow, judgment will rain down on us all. The chimney? A chimney that doesn't blow smoke. Yeah. <laughs> the poison. Okay, she is tall. You. It's you. My monster. You've come. Mm -hmm. You saved me from your mother's human rubbish tip. No. Hey, what's wrong? She does not want me, monster. But she is a monster, though. Look at the size of her. She's so big. I mean that in a good way, by the way. That came out really bad. I like tall girls. What is it? Who is that? I'm... <gasps> I'm a friend. A friend of his. Then you are fortunate indeed. Hmm. Who is Mr. Sweet? Veda. He's the devil. He's that red monster from the... You know the devil from the... Insidious. And I'm gonna stop you. I'm afraid Mr. Sweet and I cannot allow... Ah, yes. I was like, is he Mr. Sweet? Symbiotic, you might say. <laughs> <laughs> Survivor. He has grown fat on the filth. She is the devil. The devil does like salt. <laughs> In the wrong hands, that venom could wipe out all life on this planet. Do you know what these are? Hands. <laughs> the wrong hands. Yep. But in wiping us all out, you can't. My Excuse me, what? Oh, man. Tell us about Ada, Miss Oh, I am special, aren't I? It's of no consequence. Is that why you experimented on her? Experiment. I'm all wet. <laughs> Help, please. I had to find out how much of the venom would produce an antitoxin to immunize myself, don't you? It's true, true. Hey. That's her. Wow, perfidious hag. 
You virago, you harpy, wow. Sons of, sons with harpies or something. Lovely. My child. Oh, shut up. So very. No, no. No, Mrs. Gilliflower. Please, Mama, no. You harpy. I don't know what that means, by the way. We must be going. It is. Game of Thrones had the sons with herpes. <laughs> Harpy as well. Sons of harpies, I don't know. I don't know. Just let her go. Mr. Sweet and I were too smart for you after all. Just let You know, she can, she can like toss her off the stairs, like if she wants. It is no matter for you kill me a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's very old, so anyone can do that, but then she's massive, so she can easily do it. And that might be one of the reasons why I like him big. <laughs> you know, might like getting tossed around, who knows? Now the whole world will taste your lethal kids. You're the flower. I thought he'd turn into Thanos with a gauntlet. Snap! You will have to do. Die, you freaks. Die! Put down your weapon, human female. <laughs> Finally, he got one right. Human female, you know. Whoa, lovely. Ouch. See what I mean? She got startled and, like, fell. So, like, that girl should have easily been able to take her out. But I suppose you can't see though, that's the, uh, that's the big, you know, you hurdle. You gotta leave me now. Well, there's a leech. I don't know if he's a leech, but he's leeching. Yeah. Is he gonna stick on to her, Ada? <laughs> Crush her head. You are pretty much the mountain. Crush her. Imagine she's the viper. A child, forgive me. Or forgive her, that's, you know. Perfect, crush her head. Who is that thing? Take it back to the Jurassic era, mate. Well, there you go, she took my advice. On the other hand, <laughs> Yeah, no. Maybe had enough of Victorian values for a bit. <laughs> You're the boss. Am I? <laughs> no, no, get it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I am. Oh, Ada. The bright young lady can do to occupy her time. It's time I stepped out of the darkness and into the light. Oh. Good luck. <laughs> Splendid. Oh, man. But, Doctor, that girl, Clara, you haven't explained. No. <laughs> there isn't much to explain. Oh, well, he doesn't know yet. Another one for the vault. I called to see if there had been any progress. <laughs> this guy. Go on. Faint again. Lovely. Not for the faint of hearts, eh? The boss. Yep. <laughs> That's you. 1983. I found it at school. Hmm. No, that's just someone who looks like me. And that's someone Actually. Boyfriend. <laughs> Basically. Uh, chin. <laughs> I guess that makes me an alien too. Look at this thing. That's not right. You're in Victorian London. No, I was in Victorian Yorkshire. That's a different version of you. Just like you said. Time travel, that's so cool. No, no, no. no. We have to tell Dad that our nanny's a time traveler. And he's going to believe you, right? Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, no, 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 not next time. Next time will be next time, not this time, all right? But you guys can see it this time if you want. Link in the description to my Patreon where I upload these first and then they come over to YouTube. So check it out. Full length reactions are there as well. Thank you so much, every single one of you, for supporting me all this time. All right, so this was a very interesting episode. I did like it. Yeah, it was a bit scary. It's a very interesting concept. It's a little bit of abuse. Well, not a little bit, quite a lot, actually, uh, with Ada in particular. And yeah, very interesting concept. 
we saw Jenny Vastra and uh, I don't remember his name. Potato, let's just call him. Wow, I actually don't remember his name. The Sonitarum dude. Strax, there we go. Remember the name. Clever boy. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, they don't know what's going on with uh, Clara either. No one does. Um, the doctor doesn't either. Although he's getting closer and closer. I, I, he knows more than them though, but still not enough. And uh, he's trying to figure it all out, but it's not that easy. Easier said than done. She is a mystery. The only mystery worth solving, as the doctor said himself. And uh, so he is trying to do that. And along the way, we're getting some stories like this one. Like I said, um, the basic premise of it basically is abuse, which is heartbreaking, which is it's very tough. But, um, and to see, like, the permanent damage, like, it's not even that, because just the psychological damage alone is enough, you know, when you're in an, when you grow up in an abusive environment, whether it be your family or whatever, right? But then to be physically impaired, visually impaired, and on top of all that, I wouldn't be very forgiving either, so it made sense there at the end. I, you have every right to crush her, you know what I mean? You of all people, honestly, because your life permanently, like literally permanently, is affected, let's just say, by her uh, mother's actions. And uh, we saw a little bit of brainwashing in there as well. Some valuable lessons, basically, and I always like it when Doctor Who does that, tries to tackle things that actually happen in real life you know because it's important and um it does make me a little sad and that's why i try to be a silly goose not that i'm not a silly goose anyways look at the beak on me but um you know i i try to do my best to keep the mood light sometimes it's not really possible though when it's episodes such as this one which was quite horrifying you know crimsonly horrifying anyways um so yeah i liked the episode i thought it was very good i thought it had a nice story i thought it had a good message as well i thought it was quite sad and dark at the same time and it's just put me in a kind of sad mood in general because i mean it's no secret you guys know what's happening in the real world and you know it's it's amazing it's what's happening and how blind you know speaking of blind how blind people can be to the truth but it is what it is um i like the little uh, reference they had the braveheart re uh, uh, reference i believe it was to tegan if i'm remembering that correctly i think that's the person from uh tegan the person the 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 art shock right that person i'm not sure correct me about that one i like the paternoster gang seeing them again i don't really know what i'm saying honestly but you guys mentioned it a lot in the comments when they first appeared so i'm just using it <laughs> you know i think it's like a house or something that's called paternoster or something probably saying it incorrectly as well so yeah the impossible mystery of clara continues on on that note i will leave you guys uh alone <laughs> you know and uh yeah Thoughts and prayers with all the people all around the world, regardless of who they are, what they look like, what nation or whatever they're in. As long as they're innocent, thoughts and prayers are with them and I hope they're safe. And I pray that soon, very soon, all those conflicts come to a peaceful resolution. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...